Medical glove is the first line of defense for healthcare professionals. It is one of the most important medical device of modern medical technology. And do you know that more than 60% of the world's medical glove is produced in Malaysia? Yup, that means that for every 10 medical gloves you see, at least 6 of them are made in Malaysia. So, in this video, we will take a look at the 4 biggest glove producer in the world. All from Malaysia. Hi, welcome back to Mr. Money TV, Asia's very own financial edutainment network. Subscribe to our channel to get smart with money and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you get updated with our latest videos. Now, if you are more active on Facebook or Instagram, you can always follow us there as well. Every year, over 200 billion gloves are produced from Malaysia and then sent to doctor's office and hospitals or medical labs all over the world. Since the 1980s, the disposable medical glove industry has been growing steadily at the rate of 8% to 12% a year. Thanks to the stricter hygiene standards in more and more countries, medical gloves are becoming a must-have medical device in hospitals all around the world. With the recent COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, the global glove demand has soared up to 50% more than usual, leading to the glove manufacturers ramping up their production at full capacity to meet the demands in the market. Glove manufacturers all over the world are benefiting from this surge in demand and raking more sales than ever. In fact, today if you want to buy a bulk of new glove from these manufacturers, you will need to wait up to one year or more before you can receive your orders. The share prices of these glove manufacturers in Malaysia rallied to new heights as they are one of the biggest benefactors of this pandemic, making many of their early investors millionaire by today. Many investors too want to jump on this bandwagon and make some profit at this time. So we decided to make this video to help you make a decision on which of these big four glove producers are suitable for you to invest in. Kosan Rubber Industries was founded in 1979 by Tan Sri Datuk Lim Kuang Sia. In the 1980s, during the AIDS pandemic, demand for gloves escalated and Tan Sri Lim decided to venture into the glove manufacturing in 1988. Today, their glove business is the main revenue source of Kosan Rubber Industries, but they are also involved in technical rubber product business. Supermax was founded in 1987 by Dato Sri Stanley Thai. They started off as a trading business for latex glove, but later in 1989, they ventured into glove manufacturing. Glove manufacturing is currently their main business and they are the first glove manufacturing company which manufacture their own brand of latex glove in Malaysia. Well, other than gloves, Supermax also ventured into manufacturing of contact lens business. Hatta Lego was founded in 1988 by Mr. Kwan Kam Hon. They are the pioneering company that is responsible for switching the momentum from natural latex glove to nitrile glove market. You can say that without Hatta Lega, there wouldn't be such a huge market for nitrile gloves today. Well, today they are the second largest glove manufacturer in the world. Top Glove was founded by Tan Sri Dr. Lim Wee Chai in 1991 and today they are the largest glove manufacturer in the world. And for every four pair of medical gloves that you see in the market, one is made by Top Glove. Kosan Rubber Industry produces 28 billion gloves yearly from its 19 plants in Malaysia and one plant in China. Out of this total glove production, the company produced 29% latex gloves and 71% of nitrile gloves. 80% of its products are exported to 350 customers worldwide, with North America being one of their largest customers. Supermax produces 24 billion pieces of glove per year from its 11 manufacturing plants in Malaysia. They export to 160 countries worldwide in the region of America, Europe, Middle East and South Pacific through its 8 distribution centers worldwide. It is interesting to note that almost all of its production is exported to medical and dental buyers. And towards 2019, the company acquired a land in Meru Klang, which it plans to build its plant 
Bank 13, 14 and 15 and that will contribute another 13.2 billion pieces of glove production to the company's production capacity over the next 5 years up to the year of 2024. Well, other than glove, Supermax also venture into the manufacturing of contact lens. Harta Lega produces 36 billion gloves annually from their 12 production plants in Malaysia. The company prides itself for its efficient and high-tech production line that can produce 45,000 pieces of gloves in an hour. They are a major nitrile glove producer. This means that almost 100% of the gloves that are produced by them are nitrile gloves. Unlike other manufacturers in Malaysia which produces both nitrile gloves and latex gloves, Harta Lega produces uses almost 100% nitrile gloves. Majority of the gloves produced are exported all over to the world, with US being their largest customer, making up to 54% of their businesses and Europe taking up 25% of their export. The group is currently expanding their production capacity to 43.7 billion pieces of glove per year by 2022. Top Glove, they are able to produce 80.2 billion gloves a year. This makes them the largest glove manufacturer in the world. With 700 production lines in 45 factories across Malaysia, Thailand and China, their production capacity is enormous. And to meet the rising demand in glove market, they are aggressively expanding their production capacity to meet the global demand, targeting to reach a yearly production capacity of 140 billion gloves a year in future. For the latest quarter result as of today, in terms of revenue, Top Glove recorded the highest revenue of 1.68 billion this quarter and a growth of 37.29% from the previous quarter. This is followed by Hatta Lega at 777 million for this quarter, but they recorded a negative growth of 2.34% from the previous quarter. Then followed by Kosan Rubber at 611 million for this quarter and a growth of 5.73% from the previous quarter. And lastly, Supermax at 447 million for their latest quarter and a growth of 16.02% from the previous quarter. From here, we can see the Top Glove experienced the highest growth quarter to quarter from this pandemic, a 37.29% quarter to quarter growth, while Supermax takes the second place with a growth of 16.02% growth quarter to quarter. Then based on their latest earning per share from the latest quarter, Top Glove recorded an EPS of 13.15 cents per share. It is a growth of 205.81% quarter to quarter growth. They have the highest growth for EPS among the four. This is followed by Supermax, which experienced a growth rate of 137.72% quarter to quarter growth at their latest quarterly earnings. That is an earning per share of 5.42 cents per share. Well, as we can clearly see, Top Glove being the largest glove manufacturer, they became the main benefactor from the sudden surge of demand due to this pandemic. As they are able to increase their production capacity quickly to meet the surge in demand. With that, they enjoyed a quarter-on-quarter quarter earning growth of 205% in their latest quarter. And it seems like the second biggest benefactor from this pandemic was Supermax, which experienced a growth of 137% from the previous quarter. As we have discussed briefly about the background, production capacity, and the latest financial result of the big four glove companies, now I'll share with you what do I like and dislike about each of these companies. For Top Glove, I like the fact that they have the ability to produce the large amount of glove. Their ability to produce huge quantity provides them with the benefit of economies of scale. With more than two times the production capacity compared to the next biggest company, their production capacity itself is Top Glove's advantage and strength compared to its competitors. And we can see them reaping the benefits of their production capacity with this sudden surge in glove demand. However, one area that I'm concerned of is the issue of mistreating foreign labor. This kind of humanitarian issue can easily lead to sanctions from countries like US, which is one of the largest glove consumer in the world. Therefore, it is certainly a concern in my own opinion. I hope they improve in this area of humanitarian treatment. 
As for Hatta Lega, I like the fact that they are extremely innovative and efficient. They have an amazingly efficient and probably the most advanced manufacturing plant among the four companies. They also have many innovative products and they hold many advanced product patents, especially in the nitrile gloves sector. Well, however, one concern that I have is that they are only focused in nitrile glove production. This means that their revenue is highly dependent on a single product sector, the nitrile glove sector. And if this sector slows down in demand, they will likely be affected badly. Unlike other companies which have production in both nitrile and latex love, it is easier for them to switch between the product category to meet the market demand. For Kosan Rubber, I like the fact that they do have some innovative product patents and also a technical rubber product division. The diversification into technical rubber product kind of provide a safety net in case the glove business is affected. And finally for Supermax, while they are actually the smallest of the four companies, I like the part of them having their own brand manufacturing. This means that they own their own distribution office instead of depending on distributor to sell their products. Such can also translate into potentially higher margin in future. So these are my thoughts on the four biggest glove companies in Malaysia. What do you think? What do you like about each of them? Or which will you invest in? Leave us a comment in the section below. Many are also wondering if the glove market is going to do well post-COVID. Well, in pre-COVID, we already know that the glove market is expected to grow in between 8% to 12% per annum. But what happens post-COVID? In fact, many are predicting that although demand will not be as high post-COVID, but the market growth for medical gloves will be higher than pre-COVID level due to the increase in hygiene level and awareness amongst people in general, not just in the healthcare industry. It means that post-COVID, the growth could be higher than 8 to 12% per annum. So what do you think? Do you think that the glove industry will still enjoy a good growth post-COVID? Share with us your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'll see you next time.